Good morning, y'all. So, we're in the house right now because I am, I'm picking the sweet potatoes. <laughs> Welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. I'm just gonna pull them. I want to pull them, I'm going to pull them, but we gotta make some coffee first. It is, it's cold. <laughs> it's fall and it's cold. It is 52 degrees is what it is. And I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. But I've been watching people pick their sweet potatoes, pull their sweet potatoes, whatever you wanna call it. I keep saying pick, and I want to pick them. So we are gonna pick them. So first, we are gonna make some coffee, cause we need some coffee, cause it's gonna be cold. But someone left a comment, and it made perfect sense. They were like, do you need the two to three weeks to cure them and it needs to be in, I think they said like a warm, um, humid place. And they were like, I don't see how that's gonna happen if you wait until the first frost. And I was like, huh, you have a point. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do this morning. We are going to go and pull sweet potatoes. Also, I have opened this, oh, um, like a while ago, but I left it in the box because I wanted to make sure that I said thank you to the person who sent it. Also, my daughter was doing homework last night. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the table looks like she was doing homework, but let's get into this. So real quick, but we're going outside y'all. I promise we're going outside, hang in there with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got sent some really nice candles for my birthday, and my birthday was in September, so now y'all know how long it's been since I was going to say thank you. Um, it is from Scented Hibiscus, um, so that's the card, that's the name, Scented Hibiscus, and they sent it to me for my birthday, and it has a candle care guy on the back of it. <laughs> And they're very pretty and they gave me a handwritten note, which I appreciated so much. So if you are the person from Scented Hibiscus who sent me this, I very much appreciate it. I meant to, I, I really meant to do this a long time ago. Um, so I have one candle and I only opened and smelled one and it smelled delicious because I wanted to open it on camera because someone took their time to send this to me and I want to be able to shout them out and say thank you and leave their links. Hopefully some people will go and visit them and, and see what they have. So this one is Amber Santal. And so it comes in these cute little containers. I thought they were pretty. Let's smell together. This will be my first time. Oh, it's very light but it has, it smells really good, like maybe vanilla-ish. It smells like a scent you could wear, but it smells real good. Um, okay, cardamom, amber, and sandalwood. That's what's in that one. My coffee is red. Oh, so pretty. And I love the colors. Oh, it's vanilla. That makes sense. I remember now it was vanilla. Um, and I love vanilla. Vanilla is my smell. Oh, yes. It smells so good. This is such a sweet gift. Like, this was such a sweet gift. And I love candles. Like, I mean, I got candles everywhere. I love them. Oh, this is a pretty one, too. It's in a, uh, like, a frosted jar. It's called Midnight Hour. A luxe coconut, apricot cream candle, dark rose, and labdanum. Labdanum. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, they smell so good, y'all. And then I have um, an emerald cloud. This is a, a one ounce tea light sample. Emerald cloud. Oh. That smells real good. They all give off scents you could like wear on your body. Like they're not overpowering. I don't think they're like gonna overpower and have, be real strong in the house. See, one more, one more, one more. And then we're gonna go outside. Ooh, cranberry apple. I bet that's gonna smell good. And it does. I'm gonna burn this one first. Ah, 
this this I think is is a fall scent. It smells very fally, like we went and made some some um, pies or something. We went and picked some cranberries. It smells very very fally. So, Scented Hibiscus, thank you so much for sending me this for my birthday. I am so sorry that I was so late in saying thank you. I really appreciate it, and I cannot wait. Um, I can't wait to start burning some of these. I didn't burn them because I wanted to open them on, on camera um, with everybody. So, I'm going to leave a link to all of the social medias below and to their website. So, you can see it there. Whoa, I'm shaky. <laughs> And um, but I'm gonna leave it also on the um, down in the description box so that if you are interested, you could go and check them out. They smelled really good and they were packaged real well too. Like you're gonna get them, they're not gonna be broken or nothing like that. They were packaged really well. All right, so let me make my coffee and then we're gonna um, head outside and pick these sweet potatoes, y'all. Cross your fingers real quick for us. <laughs> <laughs> because I um I want some sweet potatoes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing out here? Just kind of chilling. Why are you so wild this morning? Hey, sweetie. All right, I'm going to harvest some sweet potatoes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to put them in these ball boxes. They're from some cannon jars we had. Whew, a little, little windy out here, y'all. <laughs> so we're going to put them in here. Um, I think we're going to do both. I was looking at them. We have some yellow in. Um, I did do, like, go and I did some reading. I went on the old Farmer's Almanac page. They're really good when you're looking for information. Um, I also went to, I forgot the name of it. Ugh. I'll look it up and put it on the screen because I went to that page. And so essentially, I think we're ready. <laughs> so we're going to harvest these. They've all been in the ground for more than 120 days, I think. So I think 100 to 110 The, oh my goodness the wind y'all I think 100 to 110 is what is what they say you should do so I think we're in there with the time frames we just need to see what happened over the summer my goodness the wind is blowing I think I'm gonna go and grab the other mic because I think this mic is is gonna be like you're gonna hear all of this wind I will be right back <laughs> So I hope the wind isn't too terrible and also I hope that I'm not overdoing it with the screaming because I think the wind is too terrible. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and start cutting where I can see that it was a plant and then we're going to give these to the chickens and go see what we got in here y'all. Oh, I can see some at the top already. I mean, not that I didn't know they were growing, because I did, but... Because I peeked. <laughs> it just threw dirt all in my face. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm excited and nervous all in the same time. So over here, I already dug them. They were over here. This is where the three plants were that I had already dug. So I'm just gonna dig a little bit more. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. I think I was just nosy enough over here <laughs> to get them all. There's one right here. Uh-oh. That, that was not, that was not good. <laughs> Oh, no, not too shabby right here. Probably should have fertilized a little bit more. Yeah, there's only that little one. Yeah. 
Oh, that's not bad. Those aren't bad. We got two off of that one, I think. I'll dig more. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, now that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh wow, wait a minute. There's a good amount over here. I think. Not that one, they're all very small, but there's one right beside it. Right here. That looked like it has something good on it. Oh, there goes one. It's tiny. Oh, those are nice. Those are nice. Happy about those. It's this is tiny one, but okay. Oh, I broke the top of it. Oh, here goes some. Oh. Uh, not that good. Not that good. But I'll keep that one. Yeah. Not the best size. Yeah, decent. I mean, I'm not complaining at all. It's a lot of tiny ones, though. That's a decent one. There's some more. Oh, broke that. Darn it. A nice one. Oh. Small, but kind of nice and with. Centipedes in here. Lots of them. That's a nice size one too. gonna put this in the compost pile it will probably give me some sweet potato slips next year so I'm cool with that little tiny ones I'm not really sure what I would do with them but I probably take the ones that have a little bit of sweet potato put them in a separate box and then maybe I'll google some you know what what can you do with tiny sweet potatoes <laughs> the harvest from bed number one not bad. We're also gonna go ahead and harvest the one over there. Okay, let's see what we got. If anything, these were the ones that um, volunteered in the compost pile. So I put them out here. This is where I grew my sweet potatoes last year too, so. Not looking like we got anything off of this one. I did dig in this bed some. I got a, like two out of here, but not looking like we got much of anything in here so far. There's one. There's one. Yeah, not looking good over here, y'all. <laughs> My goodness, I grew sweet potato leaves over here. That's a decent size one. A few more. Okay, so we are like three days <laughs> later. I think I did this on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. I stopped after work to get a drink. So that's why I have uh, the headlamp on because it's dark outside. I had to close the chickens up and then I went ahead and grabbed the sweet potatoes from outside. So I am not super excited about this harvest. 
but there's always next year so we're not gonna worry about that like this was a really nice one i thought it was real nice um so i'm just gonna dust them off we're going to put them up on the uh up on the shelves to finish curing but so i pulled these on sunday like you saw earlier in the video now so they've been outside with the sun it's also not very warm outside so with that being said i didn't want to keep leaving them like that's a good size one too right not super happy i'm gonna tell you that right now and i don't think and i could be wrong that if i had left these any longer they were gonna get much bigger so you know who knows but so I'm gonna dust them off a little bit and then we're gonna put them up here with the other ones that I pulled because I was being nosy <laughs> a couple of weeks ago um, and let them finish curing um, and it is warmer in here and I feel like more humid I have the um, quail incubator down because I'm planning to put some more eggs in and I don't have a whole bunch but I kind of want to keep uh, a cycle going of quail like so once some hatch and i'll show y'all them tonight so once some hatch i'll just go ahead and put more eggs in i'm just gonna dust off a little bit of the dirt or you know like the excess dirt and then i'm gonna put them over on the shelf with the rest of them and then we're gonna let them cure so i definitely should have put some lights up down here because the lighting is not the best and so if you see right there they're not completely cured so that's what we're gonna do real quick. Try not to hit it with my nails because I don't want to puncture the skin or whatever. Yeah, see, it's not, they're not very cured. And from what I understand, allowing the skins to cure, sit in the sun, some warmth and some humidity, it's going to allow sweet potato to sweeten a bit and for the skin to get hard. Okay, so like I said, I'm not super excited about the harvest, but it's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. And next year, maybe I'll remember, maybe I'll remember to fertilize a little more. Maybe I won't, <laughs> who knows? But it's sweet potatoes and my daughter loves sweet potatoes. So she'll be happy to eat these, but I'm gonna let them cure because if they cure well, they'll store longer. That's my whole point because it's not like we eat sweet potatoes every day. Although I'm sure my daughter could. Look at that one. I like it. It's kind of cool looking. Those are all of the sweet potatoes we got this year. So we're going to put them here up on the shelf and we're going to let them cure. Okay, so one thing I will say is it's a better harvest than I got last year because my sweet potatoes were only on half of that shelf last year. So I think I look back at my video. It looked like it was only half the shelf. <laughs> um, so I will say it's a better harvest than last year. Am I super excited about it? No, but at the same time, it's more than I got last year. So we're always evolving. We're always growing. We're always learning, right? Right, I know, right? Okay, so sweet potatoes are gonna cure for another few weeks down here and then, um, and then we're gonna start eating them. <laughs> And there are the babies, in case anybody was wondering. We still have all of them. We have not lost one baby. I need to get them some water, and I don't know where the little food thing is, but they're all still there, and I'm so excited. It's literally the best hatching I have ever had, so I'm excited. But sweet potatoes, okay. Quail hatching, amazing this time. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye y'all.